Hello guys and welcome to another turn of War in the East. Now we'll begin by looking at the uh, event log and we can see that the uh, blizzard is coming to an end. So in the Europe zone it's forecast of snow. However in the main fighting areas it's still blizzard so hopefully we've got an, at least one more turn of fighting to go. Uh, we've still got the three divisions uh, in second and Kiev. Hopefully we can liberate them soon. And uh, we've got the units that that, uh, that have arrived. I've already um, moved them about. I'll show you what I've done with them later. Uh, our units are forming up. And then we have a, uh, lots of um, guards regiments being formed. Uh, guard, well, guards, regiment, guards regiments slash uh, divisions being formed. Um, uh, I will also... I've found where the three new guards, regiment, uh, guards divisions are. And um, it's pretty interesting because they're all part of the uh, same army. So technically, I've uh, basically got a guard's army. Uh, I'll show you guys that later on when we get there. Uh, but mainly, it's the, um, the tank brigades and um, divisions upgrading to their 1942 models, which is good. Uh, units of Army National Reserve, already done that. Uh, things are switching out, it's good. Uh, tr uh, training missions have been flown. Still, this is going to be perfectly fine. Uh, there, everything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be short of anything. Refit replacements. The T60s, have they gone down there? It's still 700 required. Is that wanted? Yeah, 731. Um, yeah. Stuarts are coming in. Valentines are coming in, but we still need more T60s. And, yeah. And also KV1s. Um... So, yes, yeah, still don't understand what this is, uh, look at that ROB, uh, we're losing vehicles, uh, we still have 130k left, uh, but we are using 107, so the north is still going to become uh, a no movement zone just to save on the vehicles, and plus there's nothing to, we're not going to reach anything important uh, during that time. Um, I suppose it's been using building stuff, anything. Uh, Parson Battalion has been formed from the people of Rovno. Uh, 11 Parson squads recruited from cities, 100, basically 100 men. 24th joined the 11th Parson Battalion. 234 came from countryside. 3 Parson units supplied from VVS air bases. Three, uh, squ 4 squads there dropped to Parson units from VV air bases of 28 men. Resupplied. Oh, and then non VVS air bases also being supplied, which is good. Uh, well, we're still, yeah, lose, we're missing a lot of our population and a lot of has migrated. But anyway, ooh, German rail has taken a hit, it's now 74. Uh, but our, we're still down at 45, uh, national rail. But anyway, moving on. So, we'll begin now by looking at the reports. And actually, let's go over here quickly. Let's just turn off report in 10 seconds. Um, all right, by putting into movement. Um, we've got the new 47th Army. Now, I've just basically, to form it, it's at full strength at 21 now, uh, 21 command points. This is basically all units from the Caucasus that could be moved, um, are here. So they've got really powerful mountain divisions. And I also took, uh, from the Stalino area, I got two, uh, mountain cavalry and a rifle division. They will remain near Rostov until, uh, until they're required, uh, which will be at some point, but anyway, uh, whenever they're needed. So now we're going to look at reports, and he has attacked our paratroopers, so don't really care that uh, care too much about that. It's probably just um, an attack to distract me. Uh, he did try breaking the siege, but we did hold them here. The uh, Both cavalry corps doing a good job holding on. Yeah, he, he did attack ta yeah, with these infantry divisions. He's also leaving his flanks really weak again by using Romanians and trying to break through with the German infantry. But I guess at this point you should probably just pull back. He's also resupplying his troops. Uh, are we shooting down? No, we're just getting shot down. He had 107 um, of the Junkers, the uh, transport airplanes. That's, that's amazing. He must have... Um, yeah, he must have transferred them all over to bases near here. May do a bombing a bombing attack on these bases then. And then, okay, use bombers to this supply, but 
over here is actually using transport plants, which just means he's going to get more supplies we'll get through with them than the actual just using bombers to drop supply. So we're going to have to stop that. Also, that's on one, three. Okay, but first of all, we need to reseal the pockets. Why can't you move? Because there's a headquarters there. That's why. Let's reseal it. Um, okay. Could attack the Romanians. They're looking pretty weak. And it looks like a good victory. Good. Five to one. Always like those odds. Uh, there you go. Push back. Let's also just quickly move that while I remember. Could make a move for across the river, but I don't think it's worth it because the blizzard's going to become unstuck anytime soon. And... Our defensive positions along here are okay. Probably going to have to reinforce them with the uh, 46th army. But that can wait. So also this unit has managed to route itself. Which is not good. But anyway, at least they're getting supplies. Um, yes, that's going to remain like this. Okay, and then we've got this stack is kind of screwing up the zone of control. Mm-mm-mm. This, yeah, this guard really needs to rest and increase their uh, strength. Quick attack should break through here. 15 to 1, good. This should also break through. Excuse me. Easy. Uh, won't, won't push it too far, but hopefully he'll get the idea and retreat. Uh, also, let's go for attack. Hopefully we can pull it off. No, 1 to 1. Whole division versus a uh, German brigade on the regiment, and we still lost. Uh, we're not going to break through that anytime soon. I may come back and reorganize that. Net. That needs to be reorganized. Um, now looking over here, Kiev. Okay, I don't think there's no, there's no point breaking through. Oh, we probably could f try and form a new defensive line in, along the river, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Okay, now okay, what I'm going to do you. No, you two need to get out. Okay, and I'm going to reinforce you with the three. And I've got this division over here. I also, so yeah, I also moved up some reinforcing divisions on the trains over here. Got this shock army that's still rebuilding, was really rushed into the fight. It's going to move up, I guess. I think uh, I probably moved that wrong here. Yeah. Probably should have sent it to reinforce. Yeah. No, it's probably a mistake. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's let's just try this. So we'll go with a quick attack. We should be able to break the Romanian. Good. You did retreat into the city, which is not so good. Yeah, because that bursts them out. Uh, okay. Uh, and then a deliberate attack here. Uh, Romanian armor's going to help but hopefully it won't help too much. No, it's going to help a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, quick attack should break th this. Good. Question is, can we move on? Who's got movement? You, you two. Okay, we could move on and be ready to assault the scene next turn. Go on. No, you know you want to move over here. No, you don't. Okay. It's just... Uh, it's just this stack the of units is annoying. Let's do some... Okay, let's do something like this. Can I do a deliberate attack with all these? Okay. Uh, four, eight. Eight, sixteen. Uh, and then four, three. This is twelve. Should be 28 versus 26. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to do a bombing offensive. Or I could also... I can also get more units into the fight. Is there anything closer? Oh, there's a tank brigade. I'll use this tank brigade. Yeah. It's going to be messed up. But anyway. Uh, bomb units. Bomb airfield. Bomb city. Bomb units. This everything select all launch 101 bombers six were shot down 
Did do quite a bit of damage though. Okay. Also, while I'm here, I might as well just try and supply the city. Should have probably done that first. Go on. I remember how this works, fine. It's like shift, right click. Come on. No, I don't care that they're not available. Use the bombers. Thank you. Okay. It's just supply still. Uh, select all. Launch. 58 tons of supply got through. That's pretty good. Only six bombers shot down. I'll take that. 32. Doubled its defense. Really getting close to breaking though. Um, yeah. And also talking about refitting, you guys need to be refitting. They're below 50% as well. Uh, but we're gonna push on. So they've been damaged. They've had a slight disruption. Can you join? No, okay. Let's do this. Yes, a huge air battle and no, not, not even close. Did shoot down a few of their stuff though. Did shoot down a few of their stuff, but not enough. Okay. Ah, and that's, that's a little bit sad. Can I move there? Can someone move there? You got six. No. Ah, oh, can move a tank brigade. Amazing tank brigade into the gap. Yep, no, it's nothing's going to be able to get in there. Okay. Oh, well. Let's reinforce it with another tank brigade, because that's always going to work. Uh, the 5th Army. We're so close to liberating our comrades in the city. We're so close. I don't think we're going to get there, though. Who are you? The t yeah, get the guards in here as well. Oh yeah, you're the some of the fresh reinforcements. Just get off the train. Uh, okay, and you guys can get off the train as well. Get off the train. They're gonna sit. Uh, your your HQ is down there, so you can move that way. Over there for you, and you can also move that way. I guess probably not the best movement, but anyway. Um, okay, you two here. We'll move across like that. Reinforce that. Uh, can I move the cavalry corps there? Good. Bye bye. Slovakian yeah, mobile division retreated. Good. 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 They're under refit. I want. They should rest. Um. Hmm. Okay, what am I doing? Who can fill this gap? It's gonna be the these guys, yeah. There we go, that should hopefully clear up the lines a little better. Uh, this green army is doing pretty well. Could go for attack against the seven. 37, nah, it's better to be safe than sorry. Also got no, no new units over here. Are you all over there as well? Oh, okay. Quick attack should break through this. Oh, he's got his, uh, okay, when I say quick attack will break through that, it obviously didn't. Also got the um, yeah, armor divisions though, right at the back. Yeah, I'm not going to be breaking through any of this anytime soon. You also have this guards going up to where its HQ is. Um, you can reinforce him. Yeah, we're not going to get through any of this except here. Thank you. We could do a uh, deliberate on the Panzer Division. It's just like a, yeah, just a damaging attack, even though it's not going to be too good for us. 
I just want to get rid of, yeah, damage those tanks. Hmm. Did it weaken? Yeah, it did slightly weakened it. But I guess it did. I in, uh, improved its morale, yeah, which is probably bad. But anyway, um, Russian tactics always work. We we'll move here now. We look at this. We got the the ninth, eleventh, and seventh guards division, the eighth, all in this one army. So it's, half of it's is that half? And it's also got guards. The guards artillery regiment. The guards seventh guards artillery regiment RV. Uh, GK and the guards, second guards gun regiment, and then four, yeah, four. Well, and then it's got the rifle brigade. So I'm gonna say over half of this unit is a guards unit, which is good. Yes, yeah, amazing, 18 to one, and it retreats into Sminsk just to annoy me. Okay, uh, deliberate should break through that. Nope, uh, I lied again. If I reinforced it, but I don't have the men, so we'll just do this. Uh, we treat one back. You will take its place. Well, when you can reach it, you stay there. You go here. You go here. Not going to be able to uh, attack some men. We could encircle it. Uh, but then again, I don't think we have the time. Uh, he doesn't have any Panzer divisions around here. That's yeah, that's probably why we're pushing so successfully. Still don't understand why he didn't go for the attack on Moscow. Oh, and here's the tenth. Yeah. So we'll just do a quick attack. Should break through that. A deliberate with these two should be able to probably no. Nah. Not enough. Dice was not in our favor. We'll do the quick with that. Broke through. Uh, 20 versus 12 should easily get it. Yes. Good. We could ex try and exploit it with the cavalry division. But we will go for a. Uh, let's just go against this motorized regiment. Got him. Uh, well, then we'll then we'll attack. Yeah, we're not at full strength, so we won't do that. Good, you can take that gap though, good. And you can take that, and you can just stand here on reserve. And for some reason you can't move up. It's supposed to be, yeah, there we go. Good. Oh, you, you actually stand where your army is there, okay. Good reinforcing and exporting gaps, always nice. Uh, there's a 10 there, we probably could break it with this, with this 14 against 10. Are we feeling lucky? No, not when the third panzer gets committed to its defense. Yep, okay. That was, that was a bit of a massacre there, but anyway. Let's exit. And, yep. Yeah. Let's just move this unit up. This needs to, move. yeah, they need to stay around. Uh, I guess when it's going to go defensive, we're going to, it's going to switch, uh, switch over to the, um, to, oh, let's switch over to mud first, and then it's their turn to attack us again. So we'll just re, re, uh, recapture our front lines. Uh, also, we need to man these correctly. I guess uh, I can take back our city. Something like that. Uh, yeah. The rails up here are still destroyed, aren't they? Yeah. They're getting fixed very slowly. Uh, this needs to be fixed so these guys can actually get supply. Yeah, a lot more needs to be done, but at least the southern half now won't be as corrosive to our vehicle pool as it was. Still not gonna attack with them, save those trucks. Um you gonna do an deliberate six versus four. No, nope, not good enough though. Okay. So I think that's going to is that close enough? 
Still got two. I got two. I got three armies in reserve. I got the one in Rostov. Uh, this one here, the 46. I got the 46th, 47th, and the, like the third, 39th in um, Moscow. Well, and also the actually I have a, uh, yeah, the full shock army as well. So I got four armies in reserve, ready to be deployed anywhere. Two in the south and two kind of more in the north. Uh, got my reinforcements coming. I want to quick actually have a quick look at report again. Uh, we managed to blow up the rails here. Good, but I mean it's too close to do anything. If you get anything further back, oh, we've got some good ones over here. And what was what happened here? Air chance, oh, air chance of water supplies. Yeah, that was an attack. But it wasn't, and good attacks, good attacks. Let's have a look at the OOB while we wait. Uh, well, I think we've got 5.8 million. We've got to hopefully crack 6 million by, by the time the blizzard's done. Germans are 3.5 still. Uh, Artillery, we finally reached 60,000 60, artillery pieces, 7,000 tanks versus their 5,000, well, armoured fighting vehicles, sorry, I should say, and 6,500 planes versus their 3,600. Losses since my last turn, Germans lost 37,000 men, we've lost 64,000. Um, yeah, not looking too good. We managed to lose 100 more tanks than them. And we're still losing men cap. We're losing men captured now. Sorry, guys, about that. I was just uh, momentarily uh, distracted, but now I'm back, and we're going to continue on looking at the uh, losses screen. So, yeah, German losses are rising, but not, yeah, not <laughs> nowhere near matching our losses. Um, vehicles lost. Yeah, mainly just moving supplies. And they managed to capture a hundred. I want to. I want to see how this has actually worked out. Captured by enemy 100. It must be from retreats and stuff. And then we captured 27 from them. Yeah. Uh, but we are running low. Looking at the equipment. Oh, they're using BT7s. They lost 10 this turn. Jeez. They're using our tanks against us. Oh, and T34s. They lost 14 T34s. They lost 104 T34s in total. They've lost more T-34s than they have Panzer 3s. Oh, I don't know, so Panzer 3Hs, I should... I reckon if you added all... No, if you added all of them up, it would be roughly uh, roughly 400. Yeah, so... More 38s, Panzer 3... Yeah, the Czech tanks, yeah. Panzer 38 ton... No, not tons. It's... It's... Uh, it's the T's there, because in German, they spell Czech as like a... a T, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So that's why it's there. Um, yeah, because then the French, Franco and Iraq would be, yeah, there. For the B, B2, I have no idea what this tank is. They have lost one of it. Panzer B2. Oh, is that the Shah? Uh, I forgot what it's called. The Shah, the... Now I forgot. The one with the 75mm howitzer and... No, I'm getting confused between my decks. Anyway, uh, someone will know. If you know, tell me. I'll probably look at, uh, look it up after this uh, episode. But anyway, I've forgotten. And they've also got a flamethrower uh, flame version of it. Uh, and, oh, uh, yeah. More French stuff being used. Yeah, nothing much. Oh, they managed to, They lost a 305mm howitzer, huh? And, yeah, nothing else really significant lost. Finns haven't lost that much. Italians have lost even less than the Finns. Romanians have actually taken quite a beating. Yeah. Oh, they've upgraded to 42 squads. Interesting. Um, oh, the Hungarians. Not, not as quite as bad as the Romanians. That's a very interesting millimetre. 149 millimetre howitzer. Yeah, just to be different. Slovakians have lost even less, and then there's all of us with all our losses. So, we have a quick look at air losses now. The amazing 20, 20 of their planes lost, mainly level bombers actually, to 130 of ours, yeah. 
the 2 to 13 kill kill death ratio. What, what have they been mainly been? No, it's all sorts of stuff. Ooh, the Yukos 88. That sucks for them because they're pretty good playing the Yukos 88. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's some Dutch planes. No. Are there Dutch built French planes? Yeah, which are now being used by the Axis. That's that's pretty interesting. And they, oh, these are built by Romanians. They're using British recon planes, the Romanians, I guess. Yeah, that's very interesting stuff. And the Hungarians have got their own planes as well. Um, yeah. And destroyed units quickly. We've lost one. One thing. Apparently we lost 154th for off the division. Whatever that's... Wherever that was. But anyway. Um, also, so yeah, just quickly between the two... Uh, between the uh, cut that I put in the video, I just quickly had a look at the uh, fault levels. And yeah, we're not really that too prepared for the winter... Uh, for their summer offensive. But hopefully the mud turns will give us a few... Um, uh, a gap of... Um, breeding space so we can start building them up now also one thing in here I want to clean this up because it's very messy so you're gonna go back here uh, I want I want the visions you to actually be at the front instead of just hanging around at the back here you can reinforce you and then yeah uh, I want to reinforce this but I can't. And also, okay, you're gonna stay back here and actually be on reserve. Should I just get both of them to rein? Yeah. Let's go here, actually, and then pull you back. Yeah, this is getting even more messy. Here we go. That's gonna be interesting. And I've got. Rifle Brigades, wow, there's probably, like, there's hardly any actual f fine divisions in the 57th. Yeah, all Brigades, three divisions, Brigade and the core. Yeah. Not the most impressive army, but anyway, it will do. That's much better. Uh, you're not going to reach that, yeah. And, uh, yeah, okay, you just, we'll just leave it like that. Next turn will hopefully, uh, these guys will run out of supply hopefully by next turn. Uh, also while we're here, yeah, no, you, oh wow, these guys are actually really broken. We won't attack. Need, those need to refit. What about this army, shock army sitting in the back, not doing anything? I guess they can remain there. Uh, this blue, the 24th, also not doing anything. I guess I'll just get them to set up like that. Oh, that's going to also into my vehicle pool, but anyway. Uh, I also completely forgot to move this army last um, when I was going through here. Kind of skips it, move to the other shock army. Oh, and that was a mistake. Love misclicks in this game. And now I can't. I can't plug the gap because I'm dumb. There we go. And that's gonna have to do. Um, yeah, that was really bad by me. But anyway, I haven't left Moscow open, so it's all good. Okay, so that's that. That's all done. These guys are all building up. I want to build more. Rifle divisions, probably just one more, because there's still plenty of men. Should be. Uh, rifle division, please. Oh, also, actually, I need to check. How's our rifle? Yeah, this light gun regiment. Okay, I think they're actually ready. Yeah, is that your... No, they're nowhere near ready. I'm reading it way wrong. This one's closer, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Um, these guys are still gonna be in reserve, ready for anything. Actually, we'll build some, yeah, just the light howitzers. Yeah. 
I want quite a few light howitzer brigades because they're going to help me break through. They're going to stay at Rostov. And I think that will be it for now. Could replace some leaders, but I don't think so. Everyone seems to be doing a good job. Yeah. Could form more fighters. Probably no need, though. Got lots of night bombers, uh, which I've probably been forgetting to use. Let's actually quickly use them. Bomb airfield knights. Oh, I've actually got a few things on night. Uh, probably because of the um, yeah, the VVS airbases. Uh, actually, no, I want to go down here because you've got the transport planes. Yeah, it's the DB. Yeah, from where though? I want to see, yeah, no, I want them resupplying the, uh, I want them resupplying the parts that's not being used, instead of being used for this attack, so where, where's my bomb airfield? Day, night, day. Ah, uh, let's select all. Let's go for a big raid. Uh, they lost three, uh, was this, no, damn. That wasn't it. That was the incorrect base. Uh, but they did take more losses than us, so that's always a win. Uh, we will go and bomb one more airfield. We'll bomb you again. Uh, select all launch. No, again, the wrong one. They lose. There's some fiats there. What about you? And no, we won't do a just bomber attack because that's not going to end well. We'll drop, try and drop more air supplies though. Let's quickly launch. And we lost three of them. Three more supplies, three more tons of uh, supply got through. And now I'm going to move more factories around. So let's grab you, Golovka. We will get your factories out of there. I'm pretty sure Stalino and the other one is empty. So I'll move you. I'm gonna oop, I'm gonna move you somewhere down in the Caucasus. Uh I forgot, I forgot, uh, Mac, Hak, uh, wow, Mac, Hak, Kala, if I'm pronouncing that right, seems okay, Goznovny, actually no, let me just, um, oh yes, yeah, so and now I've, now I've glitched it again, excuse me guys, why well, I fixed this, sorry about that, guys, finally fixed it, all my factories are now going to Batuvmi, and we've used basically all our rail cap up. So I think this is going to be roughly the end of the episode. Um, yeah. I think that's going to be it. I've moved everything. Everything seems fine. We've done it quite a few attacks. Unfortunately, reaching some Minsk and Kiev probably is going to be without um, outside... Yeah, um, probably was, yeah, we're not going to reach them, really. They were just a hex away from each, oh well, yeah, basically, yeah, one urban hex away from each, because we need to capture, what, this, like, East Kiev, um, yeah, East Kiev and uh, the Semensk itself, or Semensk, and that's going to be hard. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I thank you guys for uh, watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next turn. Bye-bye.